In this video, we will look at population density overlays in M-Water, like this one of the city of Nairobi. What are population density overlays? Um, they are map layers that you can add to any map uh, in M-Water, currently available for most of the countries in Africa and soon to be available for many more countries. These are sourced from the Humanitarian Data Exchange from a data set that has been publicly shared under a Creative Commons license. This data has been created from satellite imagery using advanced machine learning techniques um, by Columbia University and affiliates, and is due to be updated every three months. And new countries are being added to this data set. There's also this uh, guidance dashboard that will be in the video link description, which uh, you can read through to get more information. But in this video, we will look at how would you create your own layer. Okay, so first of all, let's start creating a new map from the map section. Make sure we're logged in. Logged into the portal, go to maps, make a map. And we can choose the population density option here under advanced. Let's first save. Uh, the map with a name and let's open up this list of options. These are the countries currently available. Um, mostly in Africa. Let's pick Malawi, for example, as an action. And that's all there is to it to get started, but you'll notice that the map is not yet showing the population density. That is because you have to zoom past a certain level to see it. So trick number one, just zoom close enough so you'll start seeing the data because there's a lot of it to render. Aha, and now I've zoomed in close enough and I'll see the legend displaying the estimated average population density for each given area. And you know, this is only approximations from satellite imagery and cross-reference with census data, but it still overlaps very, very well with urban centers and can feasibly form an important part of your decision making. Let's see what we can customize. There are not too many options available for this at the moment. You can either choose to map it in grayscale or in color, and that can depend on your purpose and the amount of other things on the map. So if you're, for example, uh, already mapping lots of site types with different colors, then having a colored map might not be useful, but for certain other purposes, this can be very, very handy. And this map layer can be very powerful when overlaid with, for example, water point data. In this case, I'll switch it back to light, and I will switch the population density to grayscale, and overlay water points by type. And might as well create one more layer of radius of one kilometer centered on the water points, like so. And then we could start estimating where there might be gaps in coverage, assuming that our mapped data set is comprehensive. This area seems to be well mapped, well catered for, for example. There we are. So one more time, very easy to create population density maps. You just go to maps, start creating one, choose the population density section, Choose the country whose data set you want to include, and then zoom in close enough, and you will be able to see the maps. I'll include this map in the video description so you can duplicate it and have a play around yourself. Thank you very much.